And finally, new rule, stop trying to get me to watch Tiger King. It's not gonna happen. I already have to watch one bottle blonde from reality TV. And the other reason I'm not watching Tiger King while sequestering, because torturing animals is what got us into this mess. That's the lesson we keep refusing to learn, that you can't trash the environment, including animals, and not have it come back and kill you. Two weeks ago, I called out China for reopening their wet markets, and miraculously, people from both sides of the aisle reached out to say, good for you for saying that. Well, here's another hot take that may not be as popular. America's factory farming is just as despicable as a wet market and just as problematic for our health. Factory farms have a lot more lobbyists, but ecological time bombs tick the same. Americans should not get too high and mighty about wet markets while we are doing this. Most, if not all, infectious diseases are zoonotic, meaning they start in animals and jump to humans. AIDS likely came from primates. Someone butchered a monkey or fucked one or something they shouldn't have been doing with a monkey. Mad cow came from cattle, eating cattle, which is like feeding a chicken an omelet. Just two weeks ago, a fatal strain of bird flu was confirmed in a commercial turkey flock in South Carolina. Now, to thwart the coronavirus, we've been told to create distance, avoid others who are sick, lower stress, and exercise. Are you surprised that diseases flourish among animals when they're forced to live in conditions that are the complete opposite of all of that? They're on top of each other, they can't move, they're stressed out. I've seen airports treat luggage better than we treat animals. Egg-laying hens are starved and given no water for weeks to shock their bodies into molting. Beaks of chickens are removed. I could go on. Have you ever driven by a high-density feedlot? Yeesh. To get relief from the stench, you have to stick your nose in an egg salad sandwich. If you think the market in Wuhan is gross, you should visit one of our giant poultry processing factories. But of course you can't, because we have ag-gag laws that make it a crime to report the crime. And it is a crime of animal abuse that goes on in our food industry. You're worried that the mailman is coronavirus? 80% of pigs have pneumonia when they're slaughtered because we make them live in conditions that would make a zombie vomit and then, so they don't die before we kill them, pump them full of antibiotics that in turn get passed on to humans. That in turn leads to antibiotic resistant diseases that in turn leads to us dying from ever evolving contagions. It's six degrees of tainted bacon we're on the cusp of returning to a pre-antibiotic era where strep throat was a death sentence. Let me put it as basically as I can. If we keep producing food the way we do, you're going to get sick with something medicine cannot fix. You don't have to care for the sake of the animals. I wouldn't want to mess with anyone's reputation as a heartless asshole. But do it because animal cruelty leads to human catastrophe. Do it because barbecue is why you've been masturbating for a month. And get the fuck away from me with Tiger King. I don't care that he sees the light at the end. So did Darth Vader. There's no such thing as keeping a wild animal pent up, but treating them well. Just ask Siegfried and what remains of Roy. Joe Exotic is in prison partly for killing five endangered tigers, which are endangered because of people like him. I don't get why the woke left loves this show so much and isn't on this guy like pink sequins. People should take their meandering outrage and focus it on this issue. You keep animals in cages, be they tigers or turkeys, and look who winds up being the prisoner.